beginning. My greetings to all the presents. And thank you for all I really thank you, the Assyrian people in Syria, and especially in the northeast Syria. The Assyrians are based in many regions, and it, it can be. And it uh, the. Okay. And the large number of uh, Assyrians, especially uh, from the landlords and uh, factory owners, and uh, they were really involved in the Syrian economy. And they played a big role in the uh, political role in Syria. They were involved in art, in sport, in economy and politics every, in every single region and especially in Al Jazeera region. Uh, they really uh, in were engaged in the political life in Syria during the union between Syria and uh, Egypt and the next periods after the bath came to the Syrian government Arabic politics and tribes and many lands were taken from Assyrian people and lots of Arabic tribes were moved into the Farad region, which caused a lot of problems for the people in living in that region. And many schools that were teaching Assyrian uh, language were closed, and Arafi then club also were closed. So because of the Arabic mentality, lots of Assyrian people were not allowed to uh, practice their culture and traditions. And after all, uh, the Syrian government decided to put things that uh, were uh, preventing a Syrian language to be present in the schools in the region. So Assyrian people were forced to, to serve the Al-Ba'ath regime and people of Assyrians who took over some roles in Syrian policy were really close to the Syrian regime. أو الضغط عليهم بأساليب استخباراتية مختلفة حيث أن الممارسات والسياسات سابقة الذكر So as we said before those politic ways made so many Syrian Syrians people uh, to be 
So in the 50s, so many of, of them, they um, traveled to America, to the South and North American in the 80s and also then to the 90s. Uh, as a revolution in Syria in 2011, uh, 2011 started, um, so many Syrian people saw that it's their chance to start their um, their goals and achieve them. For example, to have their own um, rights and their, to get the rights that they want. And also, but when so many terrorists went into Syria, that uh, they saw that in Syria is their chance to do what they ideologically want to do. And so many Syrians uh, in Syria had this um, problem that they needed to flee away from Syria. And also ISIS had a gross, a big uh, role in controlling many regions in Syria, for example, Khabur, uh, which includes Tel Tamer, and also so many uh, villages, like two, thir 23 villages, and so many reg other regions which um, other terroristic uh, organization uh, got inside, for example, Jabhat al-Nusra, and also other organization which also are part from the Syrian opposition. So, also, our Syrian um, people saw that uh, the Turkish invasion is a big. Um, so that it's a big uh, problem, and what they did in Tal Abyad in Afrin, uh, that was a, a major. Um, and also, so those militias uh, had also controlled so many of their uh, own properties. So they they were so have they had so many um, fear and from having this again. So our Syrian people could make from 2011 uh, the, the own army and also the community, the Syrian community, also the military uh, community, which is also apart from the um, um, democratic uh, army in Syria, Kurdish army. Also the uh, Syriani and it's considered of one of main uh, that uh, co-founders of uh, Syrian Democratic Council which helped to develop the region and uh, do many activities in that region and it had really positive results on the people living in that region one of them was to confess uh, the Assyrian people living in Syria and their rights, political rights and uh, human rights. the cultural and diplomatic and educational activities which make a big difference uh, from all old uh, Syrian uh, governments who are governing the country. During, during the years between 2011 and 2019, many of the Syrian people fled from Syria especially from Damascus, uh, Aleppo, Al Jazeera, there is or Raqqa. And their, their percentage in Syria was about 15 percentage of the total population, and now is reduced uh, on less, less than 10 percentage. So the, 
So the challenges that face uh, Assyrian people, the continuation of the current status in, and not reaching a stable political solution, and uh, the threats from or between different parties in Syria force people to flee from the country and uh, the Turkish threats of entering Farad region is making a big chaos in that region which make people to flee and uh, Turkey of course rely on the radicalists in that region so Assyrians are fear of their future in Syria Turkey and Iran they make big threats to the Assyrian people uh, due to the demographic change they make in Syria so they force people to sell their properties and flee so what Assyrian people want in Syria are actually So a stable political solution and involve Assyrian people in the future solution. And ensure ensure their presence in all the activities that concern the Syrian situation or Syrian conflicts. Plus ensuring their uh, rights in practicing their religious rights and cultural rights. So the people uh, concerning Syrian conflict, especially Russia and uh, USA, they should uh, improve the region and provide financial support which will make many opportunities for people for Assyrian people living in that region so the autonomy uh, project which we consider it the the best projects in the status quo. I really thank you for your